So they say that we spot the flaws in others that we actually have within ourselves. So in this video, we're gonna be looking at Gabby Hanna versus Jesse Smiles and ask a very important question, which is, does therapy even work? What's up everybody, this is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel's all about mental health and sometimes what I do is take all of this nonsense going on in the YouTube community and try to see what we can learn to improve our mental and emotional well-being. And we do this by learning from people's mistakes as well as their successes when those successes are available, all right? But if you're into that stuff, if you believe in hope and change, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because that is what we're about here at The Rewired Soul. And while you're at it, follow me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul. All right, so let's get this started. Before I jump into the story of Jesse Smiles and Gabby Hanna and kind of recap everything, let's chat real quick. All right, so let me be, let me be 100 with all you real quick. So for those of you loyal Rewired soldiers out there, hell, if I'm being honest, for anybody out there who is familiar with my big goofy face, all right? If you're familiar with the shit show that I've dealt with and largely put myself into earlier this year, and like, and if you haven't learned from it, my question is, what are you doing with your life? All right? So many of us, so many of us lack self-awareness, all right? And I can definitely be one of them. Like one of the reasons I even started kind of doing this format with my channel is because it's so easy. It's so easy to sit back and just judge others. So I was watching this Jesse Smiles video earlier and I'm sitting there, I'm like, girl, Gabby Hanna, what is wrong with you, right? And then I sat back and I reflected on it as I'm judging right, as I love to do, some of you can relate to that. And I'm like, wait a second, Chris, like, what's, what's your life like? You know what I mean? What's going on in your life? Because this is something that we're constantly doing, we're watching reality TV or watching all of this nonsense drama going on on YouTube and Twitter and everything like that. And a lot of us use this as an escape from our regular lives. But the reality is a lot of us can relate to friendships that are no longer there and the beef we have between people and things being brought back up and everything like that, all right? So let's start asking ourselves these questions, see what we're doing, if we can relate and try to develop some self-awareness and try not to judge everybody else so harshly, all right? So anyways, uh, yeah, um, I saw Jesse Smiles made a video earlier today, had absolutely no clue who Jesse Smiles was, but I got kind of caught, caught up to date. And with her video, her almost 30 minute long video, like you kind of get enough context that you need. So Jesse Smiles and Gabby Hanna used to be friends. Now they're not. What happened? All right. So again, this isn't about them. If you just want some tea, if you want some mindless tea, y'all can go somewhere else. All right. But like, I want you to look at this from your own perspective and ask yourself, can you relate to this situation? All right, they used to be friends, now they're not, okay? So basically, Jessie Smiles, she, she made this video after Trisha Paytas made her video talking about Gabby Hanna, you know, all this other stuff, okay? So this is something that I've noticed a lot too, and by the way, this is just how we operate as a society, as human beings, it is part of our nature, okay? I don't have time to dive into the evolutionary psychology behind it, but once somebody is, you know, quote unquote, exposed, everybody comes out of the woodwork, all right? Just real quick example. Remember when James Charles was exposed by Tati Westbrook, right? Then everybody started popping up, all right? All of a sudden, Sam from Seattle, and you know, this guy Gage, right? And then Jeffree Star, and everybody's like, I have my story to tell, all right? So anyways, this is what I believe, you know, well, she admits it, Jesse Smiles, then shared her story about Gabby Hanna. And as I'm, you know, watching it and everything like that, you know, the first thing we have to recognize is everybody lives in their own reality, okay? Like, when, especially when friendships break apart, right? Or even breakups. Like, I'm telling you guys right now, I'm telling you, there is only one way, 
only one way that I landed that beautiful woman sitting right behind me, my beautiful girlfriend, Tristan, and it's because of this, all right? All of the breakups that I went through and all of the toxic relationships that I went through, all of those things, right? For years, it was so easy to look at everything the other person did wrong in those relationships, but the only way I was able to get into this healthy relationship is because I was able to reflect on those old relationships and say, oh, you know what? I wasn't perfect, all right? There were definitely things that I did, but I just want you guys to develop this self-awareness. Like everybody is the hero of their own story, all right? Gabby is in her reality. She has had all of her own experiences, all of that information, and she believes that she is absolutely 1000% right in this situation, right? Like maybe she was a little bit wrong, but she thinks Jesse Smiles was even more wrong. Then you look at Jesse Smiles. In her reality, Gabby's wrong. Like maybe Jesse Smiles did something a little bit wrong, but not nearly as bad as Gabby, right? Now think about your own life. Has this ever happened with a loved one, a family member, maybe uh, an ex, maybe an ex friend, right? Where you admit a little bit of fault, but they're way worse, right? This is just how we are, but check it out. We are never, ever, ever going to improve if we keep blaming everyone. Every single relationship is 50-50. All right, we are each 50% responsible for that relationship. All right, so anyways, going into it, how did this all come up? Oh my God, so I'm sitting there and like, <laughs> feel free to correct me if I'm wrong on this, but what it appears is I'm like, who's Deanna? So I think Deanna is some random fan of Gabby and Jesse Smiles and somehow was talking to Gabby in DMs and Gabby just unloaded all of this information about Jesse Smiles and then Deanna gave it to Jesse Smiles. Like just explaining that story makes me feel like I'm 15 years old again. Just throwing that out there. So anyways, like as I'm looking at this though, like again, it is so easy. Like I'm sitting there, I'm like, oh Gabby, why would you do this? Why would you say all of this stuff in a DM? Like what is wrong with you? Why aren't you thinking, right? And that's where I paused. And I got this self-awareness, which we all need to do when we're sitting back and judging everyone else. I'm sitting there, I'm like, oh wait, Chris, all of your BS that happened earlier this year happened because you opened your big stupid mouth in DMs and that got leaked out, right? I'm like, so Chris, like, who are you to judge? You are guilty of it too. But as I'm seeing this and, you know, I have my opinions and everything like that, but I wanted to make this video because this thought popped into my head. When I started this channel and started, you know, combining what's going on in the YouTube community with mental health conversations, I had so many people say, Gabby Hanna, Gabby Hanna, check out Gabby Hanna stuff. She talks about mental health. She talks about therapy. Um, one of the first videos I saw with Gabby Hanna was her and Dr. Mike doing a collab talking about physical health and mental health and everything. I absolutely loved it. And then it was actually probably about a year ago because then Gabby Hanna started doing Vlogmas and she was talking about a lot about mental health. She was talking a lot about therapy. But anyways, I'm sitting there and I was actually gonna make this video just using Gabby Hanna as an example and saying like, how do you know if therapy is actually working, right? Because Gabby Hanna, she has been very vocal about therapy. She's been in and out of therapy, everything like that. Um, I made a video a long time ago about that, about kind of being self-aware of where you're at in your life and your mental health journey and Sometimes you need therapy and other times your life starts getting better and you can back off, but then it's time to dive back into therapy. It's just about knowing our own fluctuations with our mental health. But anyways, like I said, I'm sitting there, I'm judging Gabby Hanna, and then I'm looking at my year, the year of Chris, right? Some of you saw the video I did uh, last week or earlier this week about having an emotional relapse, right? Like, and I'm sitting there and I'm like, <laughs> Well, Chris, who are you to ask if therapy is working for someone else? Is it, is it working for you? Like I made so many decisions this year based off emotions that I am embarrassed, right? And things like that. And I'm sitting there, but here's the thing. And this is all I want you guys to take away from everything you consume on YouTube, on Twitter, on Instagram and everything like that is learn from it learn from it, okay? So my process is, and this is how I'm trying to continue to learn and continue to grow because I don't know if you got the memo, but this guy 
is not perfect. And one of the best things we can do is realize that none of us are perfect. But when I see this, the first thing I noticed was my judgments of Gabby Hanna. The next thing I noticed was that I have done the same things, right? And these are things that I need to reflect on. Then the next thing is, what's the solution? What is the solution? And the solution is self-awareness, right? Like looking at these things, because I have seen so many people and I've been one of these people where you just coast through life, life and you don't change, you never change, you never evolve. But here's the thing, I wanna end with this. So listen to the words coming out of my mouth, okay? I don't care who you are, I don't care if you're a therapist, a psychologist, if you're someone who's been in therapy your whole life, if you've been going to AA or NA or if you're on meds or whatever, all of us at some point in our life, because we are human, we are going to have setbacks. We're gonna slip up, all right? And here's my hope for all of you, okay? Recognize it sooner rather than later. I was in a state of unmanageability and chaos for about six months, okay? Like, I could have gone worse. Like, I didn't pick up a drink or a drug, I maintained my sobriety, and I continued to, you know, go to therapy and read books and try to learn about myself and everything like that. But it took six months until I just let go of some stuff that was not benefiting me before I got this clarity to start progressing in my journey, right? The way I kind of envision it is just being on this path and then just gonna pff, knocked off, right? And I was knocked off my path for about six months and gradually found my way back on it. And for the last, I don't know, few weeks to a month, I feel like I've been back on that path. You know what I mean? So hopefully in Gabby Hanna's situation, she recognizes this because those DMs were absolutely ridiculous. But you, because this video isn't for one person, it's not just for Gabby Hanna, all right, which she probably won't even see this. This video is for you, okay? So please, 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 Please remember, whenever you're having a dispute with somebody, you both have your own version of reality and what happened. The sooner you can do that, the sooner you can chill. And then you have three options. This is something taught in therapy all of the time. Accept it, change it, or eliminate it. Sometimes you gotta cut that friendship out, right? Sometimes you gotta accept the person for who it is. Sometimes you make a change. And what that means, if it's somebody that you're trying to keep in your life, like maybe a, a loved one, a family member, a significant other, you work through that issue. But the next thing is, whenever we're judging somebody else, make sure to check in with yourself and say, okay, where am I at in my life? Do I do these things, right? If I'm spotting it in someone else, is this something that I actively need to work on? Because if you're not checking in with yourself, when you're watching all this nonsense go down on YouTube, you're absolutely 1000% wasting your time. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell and follow me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul, all right? But before I let you go, I wanna send out a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon, as well as everybody who supports the channel by buying my mental health books over at TheRewiredSoul.com, as well as everybody who gets Rewired Soul merch. You are all amazing, all right? Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.